Our scripture reading today comes from Isaiah 64, and I'll be reading verses 1 through 9. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake in your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down. The mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God beside you who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. But you were angry, and we sinned. Because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We all have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our inequity. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember inequity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. This ends the reading of the Holy Scripture. And today, we light the first Advent candle, the candle of hope. O oh, Holy One, we light this first candle, a candle of grief, in the midst of the stories of the last year. Let it burn through these weeks as a beacon to become the light of hope. Let us guide us to your presence in our midst, leading us to your justice and joy in the service of peace. God be with us in this light of hope. And today, we light the first Advent candle, the candle of hope. O oh, Holy One, we light this first candle, a candle of grief, in the midst of the stories of the last year. Let it burn through these weeks as a beacon to become the light of hope. Let us guide us to your presence in our midst, leading us to your justice and joy in the service of peace. God be with us in this light of hope. The sermon hymn today is, I am the light of the world. And I will be reading the words followed by Jenny's playing on the piano. I am the light of the world. You people come and follow me. If you follow and love, you'll learn the mystery of what you were meant to do and be. When the song of the angels is still, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and the shepherds have found their way home, the work of Christmas is begun. I am the light of the world. You people come and follow me. You follow and love, you'll learn the mystery of what you were meant to do and be.
his lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, desire of nations fine, all peoples in one heart and mind. Be it envy, strife, and quarrel cease. Fill the whole world with heaven's peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. 